Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about five items that you need in your wardrobe now. These are items that you can wear now while it's still cold out and it feels like spring is forever away, but you can also transition them into spring. They are all accessories, so if you are interested in that, then keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post new content every single week about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and I am going to be doing many, many, many more fashion videos coming up, so if you're interested in that definitely subscribe all right let's get into it I live in Michigan so it is still really really cold here although it was like 40 yesterday so maybe we're gonna see a little bit of spring it definitely has me in the spring spirit but a lot of these are probably things that you maybe already own in your wardrobe but maybe don't know how to transition them for spring so I will insert photos maybe from like last spring when I styled these differently so you can kind of see warmer weather wear with these items um, and then I'll also show you how I'm styling them right now. So first up is a pair of low heel booties. I have these ones, which I absolutely love. I wear these all the time. Um, these ones have a round-ish kind of pointed toe. They have a cute zipper on the side and then this block heel that's pretty short. So it definitely is very comfortable. And these are in like a gray taupey suede. I am obsessed with these. I wear these daily and I love that they do have a little bit of a heel, but they're still so comfortable. They feel like you're walking in flats. So I will link these down below. I know last time I looked, they had a few sizes left, but not every size. So I will link these ones as well as a couple other of other options. And then also the other pair I have to show you are these ones. These are my cognac color booties. I've had these for a couple of years now and they are just leather booties again with a zipper on the side. And these have a little bit of a taller heel, so they work for like work or you know, going on date night or anything like that. But these have been a staple in my wardrobe as well. So it's basically any color, if you're gonna get one pair, it's whatever color you wear more. Maybe you wanna get a pair of black ones because you wear mostly black. It's totally up to you and what fits your style. Which speaking of, I'm actually going to do a series on how to define your own personal style very soon. I'm kind of just getting the rest of my thoughts together so that I can make sure that the content is really helpful for you. But that will be coming soon, so stick around if you want to see that. And I also post daily on my Instagram of a bunch of different outfits and fashion stuff. So follow me there. The link is right here down and also down below. My second item is a lightweight scarf. So I know that blanket scarves are all the rage and everyone has them and they're so great to keep you warm in the winter, but since spring is on the horizon and tons of brands are already coming out with their spring collections, having a nice lightweight scarf is so essential for this time of the year. You can still wear it with any of your chunky sweaters. And this one I really love, and this one's old too. I will link a few cute options that I find um, that are available right now. But this one is good because it is pretty big, and so it will still give you a lot of volume and like weight to it, but then you can also transition it for spring and you're not gonna overheat super, super quickly. My third item is a hat. So I have a couple of different hats here. I really love hats. And this season I've been loving the Baker Boy hat trend. This is one that I picked up from Target. I will link it down below. It is so affordable. Um, I decided, and this is something that I kind of follow with all trends, is if there's a trend that I want to try out, I buy a less expensive version of it while I try it out. Like this one is from Target. I think I got it for like $12. So I'll try out the trend with something less expensive. And then if I really love it, I'll consider investing in a piece that's more expensive. So there's one at Nordstrom that I really like, and I think it was like $47, but I didn't buy that one because I wasn't sure if I liked the trend yet. And I do think I might get one in another color because this is a green and I don't, it doesn't go with everything that I wear. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this hat trend. But if this one isn't for you, you could try out this trend. Um, I've had this hat for quite a few years now. And this one I really love. It's just a felt hat. 
and I feel like this goes with everything and you can transition it from winter to spring and then also from summer to fall to winter it works at almost any time of the year you could get away with it in the summer too if it wasn't that hot out but since it is a felt hat it's kind of like more of a colder weather style a lot of people also wear baseball caps which I love that trend too if you're kind of going for like a more athleisure look but I think hats are such a fun way to transition your wardrobe from winter to spring and we kind of go from wearing like all of our beanies and our cold weather wear to something that's still going to keep you warmer than not having a hat on but it's kind of more springy next up is a bag that goes with everything so I used to have a bunch of bags in a bunch of different colors and I loved them but I noticed that I would have to switch out my bags so often because I couldn't just grab it and go and know that it would go with my outfit and so I decided to invest in a bag that I just knew would go with every single outfit and by invest for me spending a few hundred dollars on a bag is a lot I know that for some people buying like a fifteen hundred dollar bag isn't a big deal and some people are on a budget of like twelve dollars for a bag so it totally depends on where you're at and for me I don't buy super expensive bags I'm sure someday I will but that day is not today so this one is from Rebecca Minkoff I think it was like four hundred dollars um, but I love this bag it seriously goes with every single outfit I love that it has like the antiqued gold hardware and it is super easy to organize I love that it has this pocket that I can throw my phone into then it has this zipper pocket and then also just like the main pocket um, and then also on the back of it it has this um, snapped pocket I love the chain. I just think that this is so cute and it goes with everything and I love that I could dress it up for date night or I can dress it down and wear it with like an athleisure outfit. It goes all the way through the spectrum of any outfit that I would wear which is why I love it so much and I think that having a bag like this in your wardrobe is so important because it is just a no-brainer. I can put on any outfit and grab this bag and know that it'll go with it and I don't have to stress about what's going to go with what. That's one of my biggest tips is finding stuff that you know you can count on. That is the same thing with your wardrobe. You have to know that there's certain outfits that you can just grab, put on, and know that you're going to look and feel great. And it's the same thing with accessories. You just have to find pieces that you know you can count on. And then there's also going to be pieces like a hot pink bag or, you know, a statement pair of shoes or something like that that you're going to have to put more thought into. But you definitely want to build your wardrobe around pieces that you just know are staples in your wardrobe and you know that you can throw them on and go. My last must-have accessory is a belt. This one I'm obsessed with. I think that it looks like a dupe for the Gucci belt that's super popular right now that's like $500. This one is $39. It's real leather and it also comes in black. I love the gold hardware and I love that this kind of gives off the same Gucci feeling without painting the money and without having the logo. I don't necessarily always love to have logos all over me so I like that this one kind of has the same feeling without having the logo on it but yeah I think it's re made really nicely. Um, the hardware feels really solid and um, it just goes through. You can wear this with a t-shirt and jeans. You could wear this around a sweater. Um, there's just so many different ways that you could wear this and I just think that it's so chic and it really elevates your look from just like a t-shirt and jeans to having it look more put together with a belt and maybe a statement necklace or a pair of earrings or a jacket or whatever the other piece is. I just think that this belt can really elevate your look. As always, I will link everything down below that I mentioned today as well as a few other options if there's not sizes and just a few different price points for you so that you guys can kind of have a few different options for whatever fits your lifestyle and your budget. Alrighty guys, those are my five accessories that you need now in your wardrobe and also you can wear them all the way through spring. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.